Hello, beautiful people. My name is Apple, and this is Relationship Momentum. So today, I got a mixture of personal stuff and general updating and the thought of the day. So let's do the, the quick personal stuff. Well, my youngest daughter is finishing high school in about two and a half, three weeks. So we're in that end of school year, crunching everything into a big adrenaline rush. You think it's all about the kids? No, the parents are dragged into this as well. So she had her prom last night. My wife and daughter spent weeks looking for the perfect dress that could then be changed and the perfect shoes to go with the perfect hair and the perfect makeup and everything was perfect. Um, my mother is here and, and that's fun and enjoyable, but then that throws our schedule all out of whack as well. So in part, that's why I missed a couple videos last week and probably why I'll miss a couple in the week coming up. And we just have a whole bunch of end of year, you know, schedule changing stuff going. And what I want to talk about in terms of you guys is that that final kid finishing high school is a really, really natural transition point for your relationship. It's going to be one way where you are doing certain things and behaving certain ways and having to do certain chores and tasks and then the final kid leaves and then you're gonna have a whole bunch of changes where things are just different. Often it is that, especially for the wife, where there's all that time and energy and effort into the kids and now the kids are gone and it's empty nest and then what is she going to do? How are things going to be? Is she just gonna be bored out of her mind? And alternatively, that was all time and energy intensive while they were home, but now they're going off to college and it is perhaps a little more financially intensive. And there's just all these shifts and changes and balances. So when you see this last kid going off to college, you have to start figuring out what life is going to be like before you get there. Otherwise, it just becomes something that just happens to you and you have to cope with it sort of defensively rather than planning ahead as to what you're going to do. The other thing I see with this transition is that sometimes people just plan ahead for this and see the last kid off to school as a finishing line to actually being in the marriage. Like they decided two years ago, three years ago, four or five years ago that they were just done. They were completely done, but they don't want to wreck the kids schooling. They don't want to make the kids be shuttled between two different houses. They may have no way to see how everything could be paid for. They didn't want to go into the, the child support sort of question. And sometimes people just wait. They wait until the last kid is done with high school and then they file. And sometimes they are just super, super, super checked out. And nothing you can say, do, beg, borrow, plead, steal is going to change their mind because they reach some sort of snapping point years ahead of it. And just because they, they don't file until the kid is gone doesn't mean the divorce has no emotional impact on the kid. It does. It has a big impact on them. It, it really will no matter what. But at least when in the, in the first year of college, their day-to-day -day routine and the structures in their life are going to be mostly the same as opposed to trying to split their final couple of years of high school where they're being shuttled between mom and dad's place every week. So and that creates a little more, you know, disturbance to their schedule where if it's your college, it's at least it's a little more stable in terms of what they do. For others though, the last kid going off to college is, is not quite so hard. They are disinterested in the marriage. They are unhappy. They're miserable. They don't really want to be here anymore, but they can't leave or they're not going to leave and this logistical problem of we can't really split yet and we're waiting for the kids to be done with school hold them in the marriage somewhat you know sort of artificially they're not interested in the relationship but they'll just run out the clock and if things change between now and then if there is more attraction if there is more comfort if there's some sort of positive momentum forward well yeah things can really change they they may not use 
that natural transition point as the time to leave. So, I mean, you have, so like I said, you have these three different sort of possibilities, things, you know, where one, the relationship is already good. The last kid going off to college is a transition point where whatever that good is needs to change into a different type of good. One possibility is they are just utterly checked out and they're completely hardened and no matter what you do, they are probably going to fail at that point. And sometimes it's somewhere in the middle. They're not terribly happy now, but maybe something changes and at least they're going to stay in the relationship. They're not going to cheat. They're not going to leave. They're not going to file. They're not going to create secret bank accounts, whatever it is. They're still waiting for some sort of possibility that things can improve. But either way, no matter what, the last kid goes off to college, it's going to be some sort of transition point and you have to start predicting which way things are going to go. So that's the thought for today. I hope you liked the video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good internet stuff. And I will hopefully talk to you tomorrow.